On this episode of SF Actual, I'll be showing you how to make your very own rifle rest bag, also known as a sniper sock, that you can use with your sniper system. Let's do this. So to begin your build for your sniper sock, you're going to need a typical standard sock that you get from the U.S. military, um, knee-high pantyhose, or you can take longer pantyhose and cut them off uh, a little bit longer than the sock itself. And what I'm going to be using today are these poly pellets that you can get from Hobby Lobby, uh, Michaels, um, Joann's, any of the places where they do crafts. And the reason why I like to select these, for one thing, they do not absorb water at all. Um, they're uniformed on their sizes um, because they're pretty much uh, circles. Um, so you're not getting into anything that will be out of uniform. And you'll notice uh, once we get it into the sock that it just works really well. So beginning the build, I'm going to take the pantyhose and run my hand all the way down to the foot. And then I'm going to place it all the way down inside the sock itself to the foot. And once I get to the foot, I'm just going to pinch it right there and just pull it through and now I have the uh, pantyhose inside the sock. So to start this, uh, I'm going to take a funnel. Uh, you can purchase these at any auto parts store. Uh, you do not have to have it, it just makes it much easier on doing this. I have actually rolled my sock and pantyhose all the way down to the foot and I'm going to place that over my funnel and then work it down over the funnel. Um, just be careful when you have a funnel in there that you're not scratching the pantyhose and uh, causing um, it to tear the pantyhose at all. Now that I have a little bit of room, I have a way of feeding my funnel. I'm gonna, I've already taken some of my beads and, uh, from the bag and I'm just going to slowly start pouring it in here and letting it go down into the sock. And sometimes these beads can get jammed up in the funnel, so uh, I suggest doing it pretty slow uh, to just let it be falling down into the sock. All right, now I have my um, first pour that I've done, and it's up to about where the heel's at. Now what I want to do is milk that down, um, and what that is causing is creating a ball at this point. So when I'm milking it down, it's actually stretching the sock out. Now, what I like about using socks instead of um, buying a commercial bag is you can create it the size that you want it to be. You can make it big um, and fat. You can make it long and uh, skinny. Um, it's really up to you what you want to do. I'm wanting a pretty big fat one on here, so I'm going to milk this down and then uh, begin to pour again on top of that. And again, I'm going to milk it down, and you can see I am starting to create a nice little bag. Um, so I'm probably wanting to just put a little bit more in here. Um, I want it to be a little bit fatter, um, and then I'm going to be tying it off. And uh, so let's put just a little bit more inside. Okay, now I was able to get that completely out of my funnel. And again, I'm going to hold the top and I'm going to milk it down into the bag. So, um, if you are wanting to build a very narrow bag, all you have to do is just tie it up higher to a higher place. Um, and then let it uh, be able to, you know, all the beads to settle. But if you're wanting to create a fat bag, you're just going to tie it up at a, um, a little bit closer to where the beads are. So 
I'm kind of liking how that's looking. I feel like that's a really good bag. So what I'm first going to do is work down to the pantyhose itself and tie that off and then I'm going to tie my sock off. And that just prevents that nothing's going to come out in between uh, and get in between the pantyhose and the sock itself. Um, and you might be wondering why we use pantyhose. It's just if your sock starts getting ripped, uh, the pantyhose is just another barrier to be able to help hold the beads in place. But your, these socks are pretty durable. Um, so once I have that, uh, you know, if you do want to change it, just leave this in here. You can always untie uh, the excess. So I'm just going to tuck that down inside the sock. And then I'm going to find where I want to tie my sock off. And it's just a typical overhand knot. I'll take that. And I'm going to give it a very good tight. And pull that knot down towards. And there you have it. A sniper sock. So as you can see right here, I'm able to squeeze a little bit. Or I'm able to let go and I can actually maneuver my rifle up or down as I need to. So once I get my body placement exactly where I want to, my feet are right, my body feels good, I'm not really wanting to move my body but I'm still not perfectly on target, this rest is able to come in where I can just squeeze a little bit and be able to move my rifle right in place to be, be perfectly right on target. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. If there's anything that you would like me to be able to, to address, make a video of, uh, send it to me, put it in comments, send it through my email. Uh, I'd love to be able to cover that for you. So this is SF Actual, out.